um, uh, this is going to sound a bit like a bit of a stupid question, but how would you describe how a player feels towards you when you put them for something they don't think they deserve? How a player feels towards me? Um, quite frankly, I'm, I, I block out how he feels towards me. You've got to have the right character, absolutely. Plenty of pressure, determination, a lot of responsibility as well. But at the same time, I say, if you don't try, then you won't know. You do require a certain kind of character, but anyone can be developed into having that character. At the same time, your fitness level needs to be high to keep up with the game. Once you're closer than you have, the better you. Presence is a massive thing when it comes to being on the field. If you haven't got presence, then the players can start mocking you and you, know, you can start to lose control of the game and everything else. You need to try and, and be calm because at the end of the day, the players look towards the referee. And if you seem nervous or overexcited, then that can be transmitted into the, the players. Sometimes you have to have your poker face, but sometimes you can be very nice to players. I'm the kind of referee that talks to the players a lot, and if they score a very, very good goal, I just go to them and say, well, well done. When I was playing football, I always played with a smile, and as a referee, I do the same as well, because if you're not smiling, then you're not enjoying it, regardless of the pressure, regardless of what sort of game you're having, if it's a good game or a bad game, because we all make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you crack a smile, as long as you're serious when you need to be serious. The managers always shout, the people understand, the fans, they notice it, getting louder as well. You've got to have the confidence as a referee to, to block everything out, even when it's not just the fans, but also the players who are giving you constant back chat as well. Maybe you make a mistake, a very important as well, that once you make that mistake, that you forget about it and you move on to the next one and make sure that you keep yourself in control of the game. If you referee a friend of yours and he does something very bad, you have to book him or even send him off for that. A friend shouldn't be a friend on the pitch because you can be friends before and after the game. But during the game, you're the referee, he's the player, he's got to respect you as you have to respect the player. It's a funny thing actually because um, your friends call you by your name outside the game. But inside the game, when you, when you hear that voice, someone's calling you ref, you actually need to laugh. Behind the scenes there is a lot of work being done which many, many people do not appreciate. We've got training sessions um, twice a week. We do fitness training, court training, um, SAQ. If you're not fit, then you feel out of place when you're in the game anyway because you're not able to keep up with the speed of the actual match. Whenever I step onto the pitch, I give 150% not only for myself, but my team, which includes the referee, my other assistant, the fourth official, plus every other referee who's part of uh, the team, part of the family. It's, it's like being part of a football team. You've got your assistant referee that looks at the stuff that's going on behind your back. It's, it's very, very big teamwork we have. If you can't rely on each other and if you don't back them up, even if one of you is wrong, then it's all going to fall apart. So teamwork is, is absolutely uh, it's an absolute must. It's, it's like anything else. If you don't work as a team, then you're always going to lose.